morning. Welcome back. My name is Sandra. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to plan for the second week of April in my Franklin Classic Vintage Aurora Purple Plumeria binder. <laughs> That's a lot to say. Okay, so my binder is full, you guys. She, I don't think I've ever had my binder this full before. I usually put stuff in the back, um, like my budget book and my sticker pad here. So I'm just going to pull those out for right now. But I have been using my Planners Anonymous Craft Smith sticker book. This is when I very first came across Planners Anonymous long before I subscribed um, to the monthly kits. And yeah, I, I was, my goal is to use up these stickers. Part of me doesn't want to and the other part of me is like, yes, use them up. So I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm going to be sad. Okay. So, um, I have done a little bit of work and I don't think I've crossed anything off on my weekly. So that's good. So we can do that together. I have been using my new pen and I love it. I've been liking it. I did have an issue yesterday when writing with it. It stopped working for like all of like, you know, a minute and then it continued again. So I don't know, there must've been a bubble in the ink or something. So my first step is to pull out my weekly task card and we'll get started. I'm going to review the previous week. Let me go to my dailies for that. And seeing as how today is Thursday, April 4th, um, I'm going to have to pull, go back into my I'm going to have to go back into my inserts because I realize I pulled them prematurely. So we'll go to March because I know it was the last few days of March here. Okay. So Thursday. Now I have to let you guys know something. I have been taking point and taking note of this on purpose. I've been mindful, mindfully thinking about this. <laughs> I've been trying to use my notes pages. I really have. I've been trying to use them so that I utilize my planner the most that I can. And instead of writing it on a random sticky note and doing whatever, I've been trying to to do that. So um, Thursday, this was the day I planned and I did edit the video. So that was good. I think it was really, I was actually pretty productive here. Um, I can't remember what I was doing. I know Friday we went to West Ed, but Thursday, I think it was my my last work day before I realized I was going to try to take the weekend off to the best that I could. So I did that. I edited my March planner flip reel. I didn't post it yet, but I did finish editing it. And I also edited my compact reel. That was for Instagram posts. I decided to do Instagram posts instead of videos because it was just easier. Um, and then when I film those videos. I don't have to talk. I just kind of film the video and then I can break it down into one minute clips. So it's so much easier. Um, what else did I do? Request songs, break up tiny habits. So the second book that I'm reading for the Jane's Agenda Master Plan class that I'm taking for the year long class, I did get the second book called Tiny Habits by BH, BH Fog? No, BJ Fogg. And I broke the book up on this day so that um, I broke it up equally throughout the five weeks that we have for my, like for the first book. So um, I'm already done chapter one and two and I think I'm on the last chapter. I think I've got half or no, I think I, I read the intro. It's a really long intro in that book. And then I read chapter one and I'm almost done chapter two. So I'm almost done my AKA homework for the week because the reading assignment is part of the homework. I already did Atomic Habits. Um, review wave. I've, I've kind of made like a mini goal for myself to be more mindful when it comes to my business expenses. So um, as I'm going through and like, I don't know, I, I guess because I don't really film video videos on budgeting anymore. So what I've done is in my old budgeting videos, let me show you quickly. Um, I used to have on the very last sheet of the expense trackers, I used to do like this, um, and I thought it was like really, really good. And I've, I'm just playing around really, so I'm experimenting still. But 
I used to go in here and I used to write down like all of the house bills. So for example, on this last page of the expense tracker, I would write mortgage, I would write utilities, subscriptions, and I'd write down everything. And then for mortgage, every time I'd pay the mortgage, so whether it be four or five times that month, I would write down the amount. And then at the end of it, I could total it up. And while that was a really good idea, um, I wanted to try doing it just like a regular expense. Like if I go to my expenses here, I wanted to see if I could just include it in here. So now I've been including my mortgage and our debt payment and um, like all of the things, like my business stuff. So now as I go through, I look at my accounts and I write down exactly what's in my accounts um, and what our expenditures were. And then I just highlight accordingly. And at the end of the page, I write it out on a little sticky so it's easier. I kind of consolidate the page. And then subscriptions are separate. Mortgage is separate. Utilities, etc. Business is separate. So then what I do is I take that business expense that I've got because it, and then I transfer it to my, my work planner. And you'll see when I show you my work planner, but um, I write it down and then that reminds me to go into my accounting program for my business and then I can consolidate it in there. So anyway, I've just got a better way to handle it now because I was missing some expenses. So when we changed our bank accounts, I don't actually have like a business account because it was way too expensive and we're trying to save money on bank fees. So. I took a regular account, but now everything comes out of our main checking account and then I have to do a transfer. So um, that's all I do there. So anyway, so that that's kind of a, a big explanation for one little entry. Um, and then, yeah, I read my book intros. So Atomic Habits and Tiny Habits. I read those intros on that Thursday and then I paid the bills that day because we get paid Friday, but because it was Good Friday, it was holiday, we got paid on Thursday. So yeah, so I did that. Um, and then on, yeah, it was funny because did I even write it in here? Probably not. I was still using my old color of pen here at this point. But I can write it in, I guess. So day seven, this was like the last day Danica was supposed to have pink eye, like the last day I was supposed to give her eye drops. And then the next day, Logan got pink eye. <laughs> yeah, it was really... It was a rough, rough, like, it's been a rough the last couple of weeks. First, my kids were sick and they all had chest colds, including Logan. And then they, um, they all got pink eye. Connor and then Danica and now Logan. And now me. <laughs> I've got pink eye. So itchy. Okay, so for the Friday. So I did all of this stuff in the morning. So it was basically, I did film, oh, that was at night. I did all of my morning stuff. Um, and then the stuff that I didn't get to, well, it wasn't actually that important, but the whole point of the Friday, and I forgot that it was Good Friday, I forgot that it was a holiday, we went to West Edmonton Mall for the Rock and Gem show. And it was a really good day. Um, I did get a few rocks. I actually got a moonstone, a sunstone, and a jade, which was really exciting. And I did get a new, a small new amethyst and a small clear quartz. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and the amethyst is actually quite pretty, even though it's tiny. And then I also got this one too. They're right in front of me. They're on my altar here. Um, this one is a green onyx. This is actually from Pakistan, which is really cool. It tells you where they come from. Um, but this one's really pretty. And so, yeah, so I have those in front of me. I'll show you my moonstone. This is probably the most expensive of the, the five I bought for myself. My moonstone. Um, and it stands, it's like a pillar, so it does stand. It's kind of pretty. Anyway, um, and I, I use those in my, my rituals and stuff. But yeah, so I'm, I'm excited about that. We went to the Rock and Gym show. It was crazy busy. I got some pictures, so it was fun. And um, the kids were crazy. Oh my goodness. We ate at the food court. Did a lot of walking. I got Colonel's popcorn, which I've been wanting to get forever. And yeah, it was it was fun. We spent too much money. <laughs> um, but it was a really good day. And then, so my birthday was actually on Saturday. So I went to karaoke myself on Friday. I went by myself with my friends. Had a really, really good time. And... 
Then on Saturday, I went again. We went to O2s for one drink before, and then we went to karaoke. We walked to karaoke after. Um, again, I did a few things in the morning, and I gave the kids early baths. It was just Danica and Logan, I guess. And then um, Chad went to the grocery store and um, did all my morning stuff. But yeah, my, my whole goal was to not push myself too much. This weekend, I wanted to relax. I didn't want to have to work, so I didn't really work. And it was nice. And we had so much fun Saturday. And um, it, was, it was an amazing time. It was so fun. And um, quite a few of my friends came out for my birthday, so that was fun. Okay, and then Sunday we went to Mandera. And yeah, we had Easter. We were we left at 12. We were late. We ended up leaving at 12:30. We didn't get there till 1:30. Um, but we had dinner and everything was okay. Um there was no talking really because there was like 30 people there. So there was a lot of a lot of people. So um my mother-in-law Everything was good. Everything acted, she acted like there was nothing, nothing had happened the previous couple days. So that's interesting. Um, and yeah, and then we just left and everything was good. Okay, and then that brings us to the new pages in my planner here. Um, so yeah, here's where I really started using my planner. <laughs> Well, I mean, I always try to use my planner, but I hopefully you can, like, this ink isn't very dark, so I kind of like it for this planner, like, for this month setup. It looks kind of pretty. Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. I was pretty productive. I tried to be, even though I did sleep in. I slept in until 9. My son didn't have school, and it was interesting because my daughter ended up staying the night at my mother-in-law's, and it was okay. Um, everything was fine, except my daughter stayed with her cousin who was a year older than her. And, um, uh, my daughter has, it was her first sleepover. So things were interesting apparently. And, um, uh, but they were okay. And so this morning my daughter wasn't here. My son had gone to my mom's. So all I had was my baby and he slept until nine. So we woke up together and I was late for the Jane's Agenda Master Plan class, so I just did the replay, and then um, made some notes. Like I'll actually, I'll show you. It's so fun. I made notes in my class. Let's see. Right here. Those are my notes for what we talked about in, or what Jane talked about in the video. So I did my reading. I'm almost done my reading and I did my my goal. So she talks about one of one of the homework assignments for this week was to create a productivity planner. So and then I just wrote down some notes of what a productivity planner includes. So it includes goals, long term, short term. I already have that in my planner. Daily priorities. I also I do those on my dailies and I um, usually list my tasks of what I want to do first. And those are my priorities. Habit tracker. I have my habit tracker and my bullet journal. Weekly reflection. That's one thing that I want to start. So I haven't actually done that yet. So I'm going to do that this week. Notes and ideas. So brainstorming inspiration. I usually have that in my common book, which is um, my Planner's Anonymous Melody. And then space to plan ahead. So for me, that's usually my, quick, my uh, future log and my monthly calendars. So I already consider this to be a productivity planner. Um, because I, I think that's my main focus is productivity. That's like the one thing, like task management, time management, productivity. Those are all the things that I absolutely love. I love talking about it. And, um, and it's funny because usually, you know, women get excited. That's just quite, sorry, a quick planner, quick chat here. Women get really excited about setting up planners, right? Um, Everybody was talking about setting up a new productivity 365 master plan planner. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, well, I'm, I don't need another planner. Like I, I'm happy with what I have and I, I could set it up my work planner or this planner, but this one had more room, surprisingly. Um, so I was like, why would I set up another planner? So all I plan to do is transfer all of the notes and stuff that I've taken for one month. When I'm done that month, I'll take out those notes and move them to an empty binder, but I'm not making a new planner, so to speak, you know, 
I'm just adding the stuff to my current planner and working through it and then moving the reference material um, to because that's what it's going to become when we hit a new month and do a new topic. The old stuff is reference material. So I'm going to move that to a new binder and that'll probably go on my Teresa Collins Onyx binder, the black one. And it's perfect because that one's 1.25 inch ring. So um, I think it'll fit well in there for over the course of the year. Um, so anyway, I I made lots of notes. And uh, today we're talking, today is already Thursday. So Monday, Tuesday were really busy for me only because my grandma came over. And it, well, it was kind of unexpected, but it wasn't really because I did had, I had, I had planned for it. I had planned for her to come over. Um, so Monday is normally my journaling day. So I do, I do my morning journaling, like my morning journaling routine consists of um, my wellness. So I track my steps, my weight, my calories burned the previous day. Um, I track, I do my weight on a graph. Um, I do my water intake. I do all of my habits. And then I do my, um, biohacking tracker, which is from Jane's Agenda. So I do all of that as my wellness. And then on my, my monthly calendar, I'll put like self-care, um, anything that I've done in there that kind of like refers to self-care. So that's my wellness, um, task. And then journal is my regular journal and my business journal is my business journal. So like I literally keep it to one page and my business journal is tiny. So this is my business journal. And I just like you know, write a, a page a day just explaining what I did the previous day and then what my plans are for the next day. So it's kind of like, kind of like a focus mechanism, even though like my task list is like, this is what I got to do. But those are like writing it out. And, and that's what I, um, sometimes I write down my feelings on it too. And so I notice that if I write it down, it tends to happen. So that's what I've been doing is really focusing on the tasks and writing down what my intentions are for the day. And it really helps. And so I do that. And then my Hobonichi. So that's my regular journaling morning routine. I do that every day. And then for Monday, um, I actually do a couple more things. So Meg is my manifestation affirmation gratitude. I have a separate notebook for that. Again, one page. It literally takes like a minute. Then I do my tarot oracle that takes a little bit more time, maybe about five minutes. And then I do my kids journals and that takes about five to seven, about seven minutes each, each page. Um, sometimes like this time I did, I printed a few pictures and then I just journal about it because we had a lot from like West Edmonton mall and then Easter. So I did that instead. Sometimes I just journal a page. Um, it really depends how I'm feeling. And if I want to, you know, if I want to waste pictures, I actually have an HP sprocket mine's old so I literally have to charge it each time before I use it now but it's the pink one and then I just use the zinc photo paper the two by three sticky back photo sheets and they're perfect so I just do that for my kids and I write them in my kids five-year journals I have everything in there from their babies and um, they're perfect memory keepers and I just do that once every Monday and I do it weekly so I've I've you know I've, I've done it right from the get-go so I don't have to like catch up, you know, because I couldn't imagine having to catch up and try to remember everything. So I just do it, journal about the week. So it's kind of fun. Um, and I do that for each kid because each kid has different memories, you know. Um, so anyway, that is that and that's a lot. So now because it was the first, I also had my my recap of the month, which was a huge deal this time. So I had my March budget close, which I do the first of every month for the previous month. I do my stats, analytics, financials for my business, and that takes a good chunk of time. And then I also started like doing the goal review. So I'm going to be doing quarterly and monthly goal review now, and it kind of helps me focus a little bit more on what's important for the next month. So I appreciated that and I did that. And so there's still a few tasks I had to move over. And then over here, I had to pay my Etsy bill. Um, I ended up doing that, printing more tarot sheets because I ran out of my my notebook sheets for my, in my spiritual planner. So I had to print more, but I did laundry dishes, my IG post. So I mean, I was busy, 
And then my grandma came over at 11. She wanted me to unload some stuff from her vehicle because her brother is using it to move, um, like he's moving and they need a vehicle. So they were using that. And so I unloaded some of her stuff into my garage and I'm holding it until the weekend, which is fine. Um, but instead of just coming here and, you know, dropping this stuff off and going, she ended up staying for coffee and we ended up visiting for an hour. So that one hour put me behind quite drastically, but it was at the end of the day. Um, I, what did I do? I uploaded a makeup video. I'm trying to see if I wrote it down here, but I wanted to, um, read some of my tiny habits book. And I think I actually got the atomic habits reading done. So I did all three chapters of that this day. I just don't know if I wrote it down anywhere. So then here, these are songs that I'm trying to get my karaoke host to add to his like song collection so I can sing them. So I, anyway, I just, this is my index and I wrote it here. So that's what, how you use this is that you can refer to this, come back for important information. And then I also refer to this when I'm writing reference material into my reference section at the end of the month. Um, if you know if it's important if, if he's added these to the karaoke thing by the end of the month I won't add it to my reference section but if he hasn't I'll probably add it okay um, and then this was just extra things I had to do because sometimes I carry my task list from this page to this page and then this was my weekly review so again I wrote that here so weekly review questions this is what I want to ask myself every like at the end of each week and it's perfect because on my Teresa Collins Franklin Covey weekly sheets, um, like this is the meal planning page, grocery list. And then you have your week, right? Which I really like this week actually. Um, and then the page after, I can't turn my page, you have weekly notes on the back. So my intention is to use this as a review page for the week. So I'm gonna ask myself these questions. And I, I don't, I don't want to feel obligated to write out the whole page because then that just puts more pressure on myself. I was doing that before and it was just ridiculous. So I'm going to ask myself these top five questions and then that'll be part of my homework is that I reviewed my week, like what went well, what didn't, what are my goals for next week? Um, you know, what can I change? That kind of thing. Okay. And then I had some reminders, another mini goal for myself is to refer to my son's school reference section when I have a school reference section in here when it's not summer break and to bring forth like if there's anything on a particular day that we need to remember to bring that forth to my daily pages so that I'm aware because I don't always look I'll show you what it looks like here I don't always look at this page so like Monday he had no school but the school changed library day from Wednesday now to Tuesday. So Monday I had to remember to put his books in his bag. So we got that done. So it was good. Um, and then for each of these, like on my monthly calendar, I like kind of took it from the school calendar that's online. And then I referred to my monthly calendar and just see if there's any like days off school, PD days, hot lunch days. Um, they also have like they, they add stuff online periodically. So I look at that or they write stuff in his agenda when he comes home. So I always refer to that as well. Um, but anyway, my goal is to move it to this page here. So I did that. And then um, I also realized that my driver's license expired on the 30th. And I panicked a little bit because I was like, I think it was Sunday I realized. And I was like, oh, no, like I'm driving around without a driver's license. And um, so that brings us to Tuesday. So the thing that happened was... Um, I was going in to check my Canada Revenue Agency account and then I couldn't check it or I was like, what's going on? So I went in and I go in there and I use my Verified Alberta account. Um, that kind of started when COVID was a thing. So um, you could, if you had your vaccine, you could get your COVID passport is what they called it. And you could use that, the Verified by Alberta thing to show, to prove that you had your COVID vaccine so you could enter in places right because people had to scan you which is ridiculous but people had to scan to whatever so um so we could go places we could go to restaurants and stuff and like actually go and do things that summer so um 
we we had that set up and then there was like this um money thing that they had so we did that and you had to do that through this verified alberta account thing and now they're using it as kind of like an id system so you can get in um to certain websites and all that so anyway so i go in there and i couldn't access it i'm like that's weird and then it finally it showed that my driver's license had expired because i was going to update it and my driver's license and i was like oh no and so tuesday i went and did a whole bunch of errands i wasn't planning on doing these errands but i ended up doing them anyway um, and as you can see, there's a whole bunch of arrows transferred forward to the next day. I never got to a whole bunch of stuff. So I did my morning stuff and Tuesday was my blog writing day. So I did get that done first thing. Um, and I also got personal development reading done. So I did some reading and I wave my wave update and I did expenses. Um, but yeah, there was a big chunk of things I didn't get to. And, uh, but thankfully my blog was done because again, my main focus items, those are the things I want to do on those days, like my, my task, my, my daily tasks, my batching tasks or whatever. So my grandma came over at 11 again. She, the whole point of this visit was so I could cut her hair. My mom came over too, because I, I knew that if I had to cut my grandma's hair, I wouldn't be able to watch the kids. So my son was at school, but the other two were home. So my mom came over to watch them while I did her hair. And then I scooted off and I said, well, I have to go get some errands done because I need my driver's license paid for. So I went to the register registry office. There was 25 people ahead of me. It was ridiculous. I waited there. The line moved pretty quickly, actually. I waited for about 20 minutes and um, I went and paid for my registration because that's due April 30th. So I got that out of the way and I paid for my driver's license. So it was done. And then I ended up going to get my car washed because with a Jeep, when you have like the wheel wells are right beside the back door and every time my daughter would try to get in she'd get dirty so i got my vehicle washed i went to the car wash and i went and got milk from the store and i had to drop off a parcel um it was funny i actually ordered a couple new franklin binders i've had some issues <laughs> um, i won't tell you what binders they are because it's going to be a surprise for may we'll talk about it in may um when i do my my chain my 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 binder changeover but I ordered two new binders and the first time I ordered them they both had something wrong with them one of them had pen ink on the back inside cover and the other one had a box cut on the outside cover and so if you guys are familiar with Franklin planners like you know that they're expensive so you don't want to keep something that's damaged so I called Franklin and they said no worries we'll send them back free shipping so I sent them back and I got my new ones one of the binders was fine and then the second binder had like the back cover it was a leather cover it had a scuff mark on it like the where the leather the scuff is so bad that pieces of the leather were actually like rubbing off so i was like what is going on here i've never in my history of buying franklin planners and binders i've never had this many issues actually there's never really been an issue so i was kind of uh kind of shocked by that so anyway so i'm going to send back i'm waiting for the the secondary send back um you know the piece of paper or whatever so i'm i'm gonna do that and wait for that and hopefully i'll get it back before may 1st because and like shipping shipping from franklin is super fast to canada so that's one good thing but yeah i was just i was a little shocked okay anyway so we did all of that so i couldn't get to these two things here but it was a busy day and then um Wednesday this was yesterday again I slept in I actually I was late 20 minutes to half an hour late dropping my son off at school because I slept in like basically uh, plan was to get up at five to start working on stickers and planner terms and I did not wake up at five I woke up at eight o'clock so we were super late and uh, I didn't get my coffee in in the morning it was just a rough day and um, nobody came over yesterday, thank God, but I, I did quite a few things. It just, there's a whole bunch of stuff I couldn't get to. I waited on the phone for an hour trying to book x-rays and then the last minute they're like, sorry, we don't book x-rays, they're just walk in. So I was like, oh good, thanks for letting me know ahead of time. It was kind of a disappointment, so I'm, I was planning on doing it today, but I feel like I need to do more percussions on my son before I go get his chest x-ray done um, because he kind of has like this corking cough. So I'm not sure if I want to take him in yet. So I might plan for next week instead and then just do percussions every day. 
up until that point because I don't feel comfortable taking him in, um, if, you know, if he's got something in his chest. So, um, yeah. So I called Franklin Planner, got the, the return started. I wrote my goal notes. I, I had a whole bunch of like random little goals on my uh, sticky notes, actually. I was doing a thing that I, I try not to do. Um, and I have these, I ended up using a, oh, let me find it first so I can explain to you, a Franklin or a Franklin. I ended up using a Fancy Plans goal insert, but I printed these off too. This is from Dash Planner. Um, and this is a quarter review, and I really like this. It's really faint, though, so it's hard to see. Um, but I really, really like it. And there's, I did two copies because I print two pages to a sheet so I can get the most out of it. But it's a quarter review, so it's a 90-day plan. Um, oh, this is a reflection. What happened? Oh, shoot. I, I hole punched it on the wrong side. Um, that's not cool. I'll have to go back and reprint. But anyway, so this is what it is. So it's a quarter preview. So this quarter, my focus is on and you get three focuses. So I'm going to go back and fill these out once I reprint them. But you put your important dates. I'm excited for potential obstacles, more of, less of. And then you put your quarter goal. So you get three. And you can do two copies if you want. So you can have six or you can have more if you want. But these, like, I do my high-end goals. I've got my Jane's agenda, kind of like your overview. But then I felt like, like I have my 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 Cultivate What Matters goal planner. I've got that. That's my backup. That's my main thing. But I also like to have a backup in here, right? So I want to show what I'm actually working on. Like these are going to be um, related to my habits. So quarter goal. So you'd have one. So you have a why. Then you have all the steps. And then your reward. What do you get at the end of it? In reward, it doesn't have to be like um, um, like an external reward, like an ex ex extrinsic, in intrinsic, extrinsic. Yeah, it doesn't have to be something like you don't have to get a cookie at the end of it. <laughs> you get like, you know, what what happens at the end of that? If you complete that goal, what happens? And then you get your second one and your third one. And then you turn the page and on the back of that, it's got a review. So for the, for the, after the 90 days, you have big wins. What accomplishments did I have in the quarter? What are you grateful for? And then reflection. So happy highlights, happy moment success, challenges, lessons learned, habit and goal progress. What worked? What didn't work? What will I stop doing? What will I start doing? And then on the last page, you've got the tracker. So you've got a spot for four habits. Um, so it says, what new habit would you like to form? Why? How will this habit improve your life? Steps? What steps are needed for it? Reward? How will you celebrate your new habit? So then you can track each of the five or each of the four habits. But here, so it's got four here, but then you've got um, six over here. So anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting, but I would like to do this and use this as like the kind of in conjunction with Jane's Agenda Master Plan class. Like we're talking about habits. And so if there's any new habits I want to start, like for example, in the Tiny Habits book, he talks about getting up, rolling out of bed, putting your feet on the floor and saying, regardless of what, how you think your day is going to go, say today is going to be a great day. And I forgot to do it the last three days. So this is like the whole ha idea of habit formation. I did it for the first two. And then I forgot last three, including today. So I want to make that like one of my habits, right? Because it improves your day. It really does. It, it sets the intention for the day. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. It's from Dash Planner. So you guys, it's a printable. You just go on there and you, I think I had purchased this a long time ago and I just went back in my files on my computer and I saw it and I'm like, hey, this is going to work great for what I want it for. So I did that. But then my monthly goals, I just wrote out some notes. These are from all my sticky notes throughout kind of going through my goals and reviewing my goals. And these are things I want to do. So um, time with the kids. These are ideas of things that I can do because I feel like I want to spend more time with them like and more quality time. Personal development. I haven't written anything yet because I'm focusing on that right now. Editing. So I want to, there's been a few blips that I've missed. So I want to, instead of multitasking, because sometimes I journal while I'm editing and then I miss stuff or I get sidetracked and I, I don't pause my video while I'm editing and then I go off and deal with my kids and then I miss stuff. 
and then I have to go back and I might forget where I left off exactly. So I want to do quality editing time and make sure I pay attention to what I'm actually editing. Expenses. So recording those daily, making sure I don't miss any for business. School, um, you know, carrying over from my school tab to my daily tab, like I talked about. I want to clean my freezer, clean the house. So Barbie's toys and under Danica's bed, she stuffed a whole bunch of toys under there. So I want to clean that up. Um, personal reference section. I've got some sheets I want to um, update. Reunion planning. So I need to do some stuff there for my reunion. And then spiritual. I want to get an oil diffuser. I don't have one. I think it's an oil diffuser is a lot safer than incense. My son, like he has cystic fibrosis, so we can't have incense in the house. And it bothers my allergies anyway. So I want to get some essential oils. I want to do an actual meditation practice. So I want to start um, mindfully exploring that. He is mindful a lot. I don't know. It's become a thing. Um, and then do some more work with my crystals and full moon stuff. I want to do, I actually want to get into it. So I guess spiritual and personal development have always been a thing. And now I'm focusing on personal development. But for spiritual, all I'm doing is reading and then tarot and oracle. That's all I'm really focusing on right now. And so I want to actually do more things for my spiritual goal. Okay. So anyway, that was just a little sheet that I wrote up some notes on, which was kind of interesting. Okay. So let's go back to my goals. So this was still Wednesday we were talking about. Um, so yeah, so I did quite a few things. Um, we had to go to the, Chad had to go to the bank to pay our interest insurance payment for our mortgage, a revolving line of credit thing. And then, um, I did film my April Jane's agenda, April sub box. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like there's always like extra things in the box and this, this month it was just stationary stuff. So I have to go back and look to see what exactly it was included. I, d I never look at the tour card ever. Um, but there was no extra things. It was just like, you know, inserts. I feel like that's it. I don't know. I feel, I feel weird about it. There was a pen pouch. So there was this pretty pen pouch and that was maybe the only thing that was included. I just put my planner charms. Speaking of planner charms, I made tons last night, you guys, a whole bunch. And they're all pretty much butterflies because butterflies are my theme for next month. So butterflies and flowers. I made a whole bunch of different ones, a whole bunch of variations, and they're really pretty. And the only thing I haven't done yet is list them to my website. So I will be working on that today. It's going to be a big job because I have to figure out how to list them. But they're so pretty. And yeah, I, I had ordered tons of planner charms from Amazon and I was like this is perfect because they're so they're they're gorgeous together like the, the colors and the um like this one where is it this one's one of my favorites right here there's two butterflies on this one but um most of them have like a flower and a butterfly that's how I set them up so like this one for example has a butterfly and a flower, this one, and I've attached them differently. So some of them hang differently than other ones, but <clears throat> I thought they were really cute. I actually have to turn my other light on because I realized I'm not getting very good light over here. My, my main light is none. So anyway, yeah, those are, those are some of the charms, but I have to list them. So they're not up yet, but just if you are interested in some spring planner charms like this one, it's like a gold one, but it's got like a teal flower with a gold butterfly. I've got two of those, but not exactly the same. And that's one of the problems is that all of these are different. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, hmm, how do I list them? How do I describe them, right? Unless I just put them in a picture and say one, two, three, or ABC. I guess I could do that. Um, and then I've got a few with a, here's the other gold one. But again, it's completely different. So this one is a lobster clasp. Uh, gold sunflower and then that butterfly there so pretty anyway I've got a whole bunch of those I gotta work on today and list those <clears throat> and then I was going through my Sephora cart so tomorrow is the start of the Sephora VIB Rouge sale so I've made 
I've been watching videos. Like I watch Allie Gleans and she talks about her, you know, things that she's interested in purchasing or um, getting <clears throat> and her recommendations. So I was going through that. I do have my own ideas of what I want. It's already added to my cart. I pretty much do that before every sale, a couple months before the sale. And I'm like, okay, what am I needing? What do I absolutely need? What am I looking for? What do I want within budget? And then I, I go ahead and order. Um, so I've been getting that ready. And um, yeah, so I've still got lots of work to do. Like this is today, brings us to today. We haven't even crossed anything off here. I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of stuff I have to like add to my new one. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be, it's going to be a pretty busy day. And I don't think I'm going to have to cancel. My mom was going to come with me for the x-ray. So I'm going to have to call her and just say, let's not go today. Let's go next week. Um, I mean, I could go for mine today, but I need to get work done today. So I'm going to, to tell her to hold off, I think. So I've just got one thing crossed off. Well, I guess I did my planning. So yeah, this was when my, my pen wasn't working that well. I don't know what was going on, but didn't really want to work. Okay. So that was kind of a long talk about my week. Sorry guys. Um, now we're going to review goals. So I don't really know how much I have to review here because we pretty much just started the month. Um, I haven't really done a lot of stuff yet. Hmm. I don't think I can cross off any of these goals. I mean, on the 10th, I've got some doctor's appointments coming up. But not till the 10th, the 12th, and then the 24th. Um, yeah. Yeah. I've been trying to drink more water. But I don't think I can really go look at that yet. There's nothing I can do there. Look at the month quick. I have the same goals on the monthly sheet. Again, all about reiteration here. Um, professional development, still working. Books, still working on it. Um, tracking habits. Yeah, all of this stuff. It's it's pretty much like, here's the end of the month. Now I can cross it off, you know. So I'm still working on all of that stuff. Um, first week is basically done. Today's Thursday, April Fool's. It's not the only thing I had for this week. But next week is going to be busy. Um, technically, the Sephora sale starts tomorrow, so it's still this week. But yeah, so not, not a whole lot there I can really review. So I guess we'll review the weekly goals, which is the compass card here. We'll review this, and then I will make a new one. I think I actually have to get a new sheet. Okay, so I just keep these at the back of my goal section and then I rip one off as I need it okay so for this review let's see what I can cross off so water last week I think I only got the Saturday um, where I drink three bottles of water Journaling, I do every day. Personal development, I didn't do too bad. Uh, or was it spiritual? I can't remember. I'd have to go back in my habits and look. Um, and last week was, no, I guess it's this week. Yeah. So Saturday, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, I think it was actually Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we're not quite there yet. Personal development, um, I did Monday. And I've read every day except for yesterday. So I've already done three days. But I want to do four. Obviously, the week's not done yet. And reading um, for spiritual, I have not done yet this week. Okay, home. Um, bookshelf corner. I haven't even touched this bookshelf. I have not picked up dog poop yet. March budget clothes I have. Um, it hasn't snowed. It rained yesterday morning a little bit. So I don't think we're going to be getting any more snow, even though it says we are, but it's not going to stick around. It's going to melt. We'll show you the forecast here quick. I have to get going. It's already like quarter to seven. Holy smokes. Okay. So it's zero right now. It's going to be a high of three today. So it's going to be quite chilly tomorrow. It's showing that it's going to snow, but it won't stick around because it's not going to get below zero. So that's good. Um, 
Friday, Saturday is four, Sunday is seven with rain, Monday 12, Tuesday 13, and Wednesday 11. So yeah, it's, I mean, if it does snow, it's not going to stick. So that's good. But I think, was it Monday? It got up to 20. It didn't feel like it though, because it was really, really windy and cloudy. So the sun didn't come out. If it, the sun had come out, it would have been a lot warmer or felt a lot warmer. So um, this week, I'm going to have to focus on picking up the stuff in my yard and then see if I can track down a new bookshelf for my son. Dentist appointments still haven't booked. X-rays, I tried booking them, but I'm just going to have to go. So they're not booked, but swimming, we never went this week. So hopefully this weekend coming up and Easter is done. Um, birthday date night's done. Rock and gym show is done. Professional development. So JA Live, I did watch that. Did all the homework, finishing up the books. Um, human design, I haven't touched. Personal bath with Epsom salts, I haven't gotten to. Bull review, I did. And read fiction, I do every day. So bath with Epsom salts, I might try to do that this weekend. My foot has been hurting so bad. Um, for Biz CEO, I did analytics, statistics, financials. Bull review was done. And creative YouTube intros, I never worked on it. Makeup Monday video, I have two that I need to edit, so that's not done yet. Blog is done, and sticker design I didn't get to, but um, this week I focused on planner charms. So next week will be um, sticker design. All right. So now I need to make a new card, but I think before I do, I'll review everything first. So we'll review. Um, sometimes I do this at the same time, but I'm not going to walk... I'm not going to talk through it and write it at the same time because it takes too long. So I'll go through the calendar, the master task and inbox. And then what we'll do is um, I'll go ahead and figure out what I want on my compass card for the week. And then we'll just go right into planning for the week, scheduling the week and then doing master tasks. And then we'll go into business stuff because now I feel like I need to save time and a time crunch now. So if I look at the calendar here, Everybody looked at that page calendar for the 7th to the 13th. So um, it's actually the scholastic book fair for my son. So there might be some books he wants to pick up. We go one day after school. I'll see if my mom will watch my baby and then I'll just take my, my daughter and my son. Um, I do have that Zoom call. I have to get groceries on Sunday. And this is continuing the Sephora sale here. Um, and then my son has to go to the doctor on Friday and then we get paid Friday and then budget Wednesday, which that's supposed to be mean budget. So a couple of appointments. It's garbage day on this Friday. And I think I added, oh, no, I didn't. I can't remember. I have to look at my Google calendar because now I can't remember what day the uh virtual study hall so it's the 26th so 10 to 11 my time jane's agenda study hall 10 to 11 okay and then this week on i think it's sunday or monday is planners anonymous um live so they do it Sunday night, so it's their Monday, so I watch it Sunday night. Um, and it's every two weeks now, so I'll put on the 21st as well. I keep meaning to watch those, and they happen pretty late, and then I'm always busy putting my kids to bed, so I never really get to. So I watch, if I start watching late, I just watch the replay. Okay, um, so that's for that. And then as for any monthly tasks, I haven't crossed off yet. Let's see. So budget close is done. Um, pictures I still have to transfer, dentist appointments, x-rays, front closet. Hmm. Mid goal set up, not yet. Personal development, we're in the middle of. Those books, we're in the middle of. New goals, we wrote out those out. And review March goals, we did that. Okay, so for work, I did analytics, statistics, financials, I reviewed goals, um, May planner charms are done, 
I don't have a content plan yet, so that may be something I focus on next week. But the planner terms, I will get those up today. So they're not up yet. Okay, and then um, inbox, and then we'll check the weekly as well. Inbox, I didn't add anything new, so I don't think there's anything on here to, to do. Mm. Haven't done a reading list yet. I'll put that on my list on my compass card too, because I want to basically go throughout my house, like on my bookshelves, and write down all of the fiction books I, I have to read or that I want to read in the next little while. So I'm not going to do like a hundred book list, but I'm going to write out those books. And I don't know, this is actually a really nice spot to put them too on an inbox, inbox, even though it's not in my reading section. I do have a reading section, which I can easily put them here, but yeah, I feel like, I feel like I want to put them here. It's weird. I have this feeling. So maybe I'll just come here and put them on the sheet, even though this is an inbox and not a book reading list. Um, and then the last thing, we're going to look at the week. So again, I haven't crossed off these things, even though I did most of them. So back to school. Oops, maybe it doesn't work on this paper. Write blog. Oh, and this one came off. I didn't even realize. I did have a sticker here. I don't know where it went. Oh, right here. <laughs> Got stuck. These are really old stickers, you guys. So it makes sense that they want to not stay. And that's completely off. So I've done. I have done these things. Okay, so Danica Home, Budget Clothes, Analytics, Statistics, Financials, Goal Review, all of that stuff was done. School inserts, um, budget, sticker design, it was more planner term design, but whatever. Film Plan With Me. So tonight I have to take compost from recycling out and prep my Sephora cart and then early dismissal for my son. So I already know about those things. And then over here, we've got March budget close was done. Um, I can't book the x-rays. I just got to go. Okay, so I did quite a few things. So anything that is not done, I'll just transfer it to the next week. All right, you guys. <clears throat> so this is going to be a big um, part here where I'm just going to like put music on and just you can watch. I won't be talking and I'll just come back and chat at the end. So again, just to reiterate, I will be doing my weekly compass card and then I will plan for the week, transfer master tasks, and then we'll go into my business section and plan for the week there. So I'm going to try to hurry as fast as I can here because I realize time is very important um, when you have too little of it. And uh, let's get started.
price we just can't win what about we try and get it right i don't wanna end up where all we have just disappears come on let's at least give it a try tears are falling from the sky but i'm done perfect timing because it's 7 25 i've got five minutes to chat and then we gotta go so i totally didn't do that in order i ended up doing my planning week first before i even touched my compass card my bad i completely right over my head so for work um this is the wrong week here we go um and i realized oops i didn't put my bookmark in the right spot here um so next week, oh, this is something I also didn't even realize. So what I'm going to do is I'm planning on doing content. Um, I'm going to start writing content next week. 
you know, I'll just do content on this week. So May content, I was thinking of doing it today, but we'll see. May content, and then I'm also, because it's like nearing the middle of the week, I'm going to do May goal planning. And write that video out as well. So um, write that video well. Write my goals out and do the video. Um, so anyway, so yeah, not too busy in the work department. Again, it's like the first, first week, second week, um, not so busy. So I'm going to, um, Monday is posting a makeup video. I have to get that edited before, before Monday, obviously. I'll post an IG post about that. Um, transfer my blog and then my journaling routine. Tuesday is mostly just writing my blog, but I will hopefully be able to brainstorm some ideas. I'm also going to post my Jane's Agenda video. I could post it for Friday, but I don't think I'll have it edited today. I just, I don't want to push myself if I don't have to. Um, and then Wednesday is sticker design. Thursday is film plan with me. Friday is filming makeup for karaoke. And then Saturday is my video will go live. And then Sunday we refresh and start all over again. So I did add some stuff here to do and then my routine for the week. And then again, um, under bills and finances, I'll put any expenses that come up. If I buy some more planner charms or um, anything like that for my business, then that's where it goes. Okay. So that's it for work. Um, it's always, always busy. I feel like, I feel like I don't really show this planner enough. I don't show what I use it for. Maybe I should do that. If you guys are interested in that video, let me know and I'll talk about everything. Okay, so for my main planner, I'm just going to put my task card back because we completed all of the tasks. Okay, so um, here's my compass card. So I made it a little less um, crazy this week, or I tried to anyway. So for home, my focus is to clean up toys and then the clean up the yard. Those are the, the two main things. Um, I did put bathrooms on my weekly list, but I didn't put it on here. And then family, so x-rays, dentists, swimming. Those are my main focuses to get them done for next week. Professional development, so my Jane's Agenda Live, reading and homework, work on human design, and then maybe watch YouTube videos and take some commonplace book notes just for funsies. <laughs> personal bath karaoke night and read fiction book. That's my personal stuff I want to do. Um, Biz CEO is make content and YouTube intro. Creative is videos, my makeup videos to get done, blog, sticker design, and film plan with me for next week. And other, I left a spot just in case there was something else. Okay, and then if we go to the actual week, I don't know if this washi tape goes it really doesn't actually, but you know what? I wanted to use it because the gold matched the gold up here. So whatever, it's 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 on there. It's used. It's fine. Um, I also use these stickers too to write out little lists per week instead of like, you know, my little, uh, my icons that I sometimes put on there, like my little munchkins. So I did this instead. And then when I put these cats and the owl down and, and this one here, I basically used up a sticker sheet. So I feel kind of like, happy every time I use up a full sheet and I'm like, Hey, I can throw it out now. So I am using up the stickers. So Monday, um, I'll, I put catch up on the uh, planners on must live on there in case I don't finish it Sunday night, my journaling stuff, transferring my blog. And then I put a reminder about the scholastic book fair, um, Tuesday, library day and write blog. Wednesday is review finance goals. So that is for my zoom call and then sticker design and budget. Thursday is early dismissal, garbage to take out, film my plan with me and edit that video. And then Friday is getting paid, take out, date night makeup and karaoke. Saturday, hopefully swimming and then Sunday groceries. So, and then Friday, I do have that doctor's appointment for my son. So I'm glad that it was Friday because it's like my catch up day. So should, shouldn't have anything really to do that day. So it should be okay. So anyway, and then I added a few things here for the week. I've got, um, you know, some of the same things have carried over from week to week, but that are still important. I need to get them done. And I did put the bathrooms on here and uh, also cleaning inserts. I want to redo that. 
and then book list of all the books I have I want to read around the house. Um, and then I also added May budget, May content. And then, yeah, next week will be um, the goals. And I put budget, or sorry, I put content on here. If I get it done, I'll just cross it off next week. It's fine. All right. And then I put some checklists of things I want to track here. And then meditation. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Click that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. If you are new, click the bell button as well so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And I will see you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye.